So I previously talked about what design thinking is, and now I want to go into a little bit of how it's used. Design thinking was created so that it could be used amongst a wide variety of people in a really scalable, easy to adopt way. This flexibility creates a lot of possibilities for how it can be used. So for example, design thinking, though oftentimes practiced in a workshop setting, actually should occur throughout a whole project as needed. All the activities like empathy mapping, as is scenario mapping, 2B vignettes, 2B scenarios, road mapping, all of these can be used as tools throughout the process in a way that works for your team. So for example, let me talk about using empathy maps with end users. So empathy maps traditionally are a stage at the beginning of the design process in a workshop format, but I like to pull them in with my end users when I'm testing with them a certain workflow or maybe using a product end to end. A lot of times I like to have them map their own emotions and feelings. This gives me insight into what they think they're feeling and what they think they're doing versus what I'm watching them think or do or say. This juxtaposition creates a really nice insight for the designer and is a way to use design thinking in a small way rather than in the traditional workshop format. So all of these things, uh, it's scalability, the idea that it creates a shared language and artifacts that can be used throughout the process, and the ability for it to act as a kit of parts or a toolkit that you can use as needed, whether it be with end users or co-collaborators or cross-disciplinary team members, makes design thinking really flexible and really powerful.